Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. Last we left off, I literally paused it right as we finished like fending off completely successfully a Viking attack thanks to our soldiers who helped defend us. And like I said, this is all happening during the same day, so uh, they are grinding away at stone still. Um, for the most part, we, we I basically decided to just build a wall all along here on the side and um, it's, it's working out pretty well, but I had to build some piers. I actually need to build one more just because of the way I'm planning this out. So we're gonna build one more pier over here. This basically lets us build directly over water. This is my first time actually building over water. Um, you can't actually do anything with deep water. I guess probably because they'd be scared that somebody would just build out all the way to the edge of the map and do something weird or it would glitch out the game. So you can't actually build over deep water. You can build over like these sections that say fresh water, fresh water. You know, so I could actually build a river across this. Uh, what is that in the water? Or, oh, no, I think this is just one singular section of deep water. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Um, so this could be considered like a river, almost. Whereas this is considered like a deep trench, I suppose. Um, so yes, we are building a new section because the faster we build this out, the more likely it is that we'll get people faster into our nation so that we can actually, you know, have more people to tax, have more people to defend our nation. I actually don't want it all the way to the edge there, probably like two back like that. There we go. Um, so we're gonna build these manors up. We're, so it's a vicious cycle. Um, you'll always end up just needing more people. Like it'll always end up like that. You'll always end up needing more people. And that's why this game just goes on for so long and why you can just keep on playing it. Because no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you're always just going to need more people, more people, more people, and more food, more food, more food. And now that I think about it, uh, yes, we are on a positive upswing. I would like to start up this this swine herd because I've been I talked about it like three episodes ago now, five episodes. I can't even remember. That's how long ago it was. And, you know, like as much as I would love to just immediately build it, it is a bit of a struggle because I can't just straight up build it because I need to have the the resources for it. Uh, right now, we, we have a shortage of wood. It is going up pretty quickly. Uh, if we really have to, remember, we do have these extras here. Uh, more than likely, it'll end up being this fella out here who will be turned on, or at least this one. Um, actually, now that I look at it, uh, we can probably cut uh, this down and connect these two roads because these guys are just kind of walking between them. It's really silly. Uh, we are doing pretty well. I I'm pretty proud of us. We've come very far compared to where we were originally with like everything being the way that it was struggling as hard as we were but now here we are we've done it look how far we've come uh, we have a big old nation uh, this has very slowly become not a square anymore but rather some other shape entirely also this viking music is still going they're still escaping aren't they uh oh wait uh oh also the witch would like to speak with us uh what do you have to say witch it's my turn to host a banquet for the witch. Okay, so it's it's the same story. Same story every time. Um, 48 charcoal, 63. Yeah, sure. We're friends forever. Okay. So I guess that means we can do whatever we want now. What if I... Hmm. Let's do tree double yield. I don't have enough money for that. I don't have enough money for any of this, actually, now that I look at it. <laughs> she... <laughs> this witch has become very expensive all of a sudden. <laughs> um, we do have a dragon attack. Those are becoming slowly more difficult to defend against, uh, mostly as a result of, um, mostly as a result of just, uh, okay, mostly, oh, okay, whatever. Uh, mostly as a result of just us, um, not having enough, like, defenses, because dragons do get significantly more difficult to kill the further and further we go. I need more wood, and I need it fast. Uh, we do have plenty of people to tax, apparently, um, I'm tempted to raise it up. People are unhappy. What's going on with this? With this? Oh, is there just... Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. You know what it is? Um, we need a... There they are. Aqua Engineers. We need to set these guys really high up. Well, actually, not that high up. Just high up enough to pull from uh, builders so that they don't actually get interrupted. There we go. So now we're trending up to 62. Uh, more than likely, because we don't have any of our happy people working, so like our clergymen... Uh, there, nothing's actually being done. So I'll tell you what, we'll raise up our bartenders. Bartenders will no longer be pulled for builders. Neither will clergymen. Um, 
Librarians? You know what? They're just a bunch of nerds. Let's pull them up. There we go. So now, everything else... It, this takes up quite the amount of people. Our granary workers... Our dock workers, oh, I don't want our dark workers, and our, okay, so there's a lot of things that are suddenly now no longer uh, part of the builder crew. Um, I do just want this happiness up so I can raise taxes even more. Uh, so now we're trending towards 70, and as long as we just have more people coming in, more money coming in, we should be able to double our tree yield at some point pretty soon, um, and also freely build the things that we need to build. Wait, did you see that? It says... It says I'm... Wait, hold on. If I do... It says I'm over ocean when I'm on this area. So this is con this is classed as ocean because it's deep water. See, look. That's crazy. That's so silly. Ah, whatever. I'm sure they I'm sure they have their reasons for that. I guess fish could possibly spawn there. We do have another fish spot over here. And over here. This is getting crazy. Look, it's our little merchant ship. And a whale! We saw a whale like two episodes ago. I realized that they are actually like just on the far side of things. I wonder if they'll ever be whalers. I wonder if that's them teasing. But I remember like when I first played this game, and that was a while ago, um, that they had, uh, that there were whales then too. And I guess they just want to, you know, make the game feel more alive. Feel more alive? I guess make it feel like an active ecosystem. Also, as you can see, the towns that we expand with have gotten smaller and smaller as a result of everything. But we should be fine. We are just going to build that wall there. The walls are done. They're building the higher tier walls so that we can actually uh, have our stuff up there. Um, our wood is a bit of a struggle right now. I'm considering opening up some more of these bad boys here. Um, oh, is it because nobody's working it? Are timber workers pulled? No, they're not. Okay. They're not pulled. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at this merchant ship here. Sometimes they bring special stuff, which is why I always look at it. Uh, we should be able to raise some more. Oh, no, we can't. Um, yeah, things aren't going too well. Uh, we're, we're we're on one of those like little recessions, one of those little declines. Like We had a lot of successes, a lot of things going for us, and now it's like all kind of slowing down a bit. You know, it's kind of like post-war America where every, everything was booming, and then like a few years later it was like, whoa, we can't actually sustain this without a war going on. So, yeah, <laughs> things, are, things are a bit rough. Um, for the moment, though, we will be increasing our wood, wood, we, blah, 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 our wood, in, our wood production. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Uh oh, it's a big dragon. Okay, so we got this big dragon coming through. He's getting pretty, pretty knocked down actually, with all the people. Oh, I just realized the soldiers are actually helping out. Oh wow, he took. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Hey, we did it. We took down a big dragon. People are gonna be so happy. Oh yeah, we're trending towards ninety. Okay, so once these houses are built, we should be able to fill them up pretty freaking fast. Um, and now we can actually also build this manor out here. Um, they are going to need wells, so more than likely we'll build a Wells Fargo out here so that they can withdraw their money. Um, where is it? Where's my wells? It's over here in towns. And a well! Uh, we'll put it over here, just because this seems like a bit of an awkward corner to put it in, and I know it'll annoy future me at some point, and I'll yell at myself about it. And you guys can laugh about it. <laughs> uh, at some point, we can actually build, um, what's it called? We can actually build, where are they? Oh, there they are. Fountains. Which, they're drinkable. They're basically wells, they just also do happiness. But, you need to have a Noria and a Reservoir. So, yeah, we can actually turn a lot of this land into, like, super fertile land. So that we can actually have an increase in food yield, which will make things significantly easier because that way we're not wasting a bunch of space just like trying to make it, you know, what's the word I'm looking for here? Trying to make it farmable, I guess? I don't know. Um, we do have windmill workers, and once we actually, um, once we actually have a reservoir going, we can actually make these yield even more. So there's master workers, there's high soil fertility, and there's a windmill nearby. So yeah, um... This episode's pretty close to ending. We killed the dragon. You know, it's kind of like what happened with NASA, where, like, once you, um, you know, when they first sent their ships into space, everyone was like, whoa, that's crazy. We're doing it. American ingenuity. And then, um, and then they did it enough times that people were just like, all right, yeah, we get it. We can, we can go to the moon, dude. Nobody cares. Stop showing off. Nobody cares that we can go to the moon, dude. Um, 
and then people stop caring. <laughs> and then now look at our space program. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're doing pretty well. I kind of want to just stop recording this for the time being just because of all the noise that's going on. We have grown fairly well. Um, we have done a lot of things. We have gone into Noria's. We never built that swine herd. We have yet to build that swine herd. I need fish and pork going pronto. Um, they don't have enough tools going. Uh, what what are these guys missing here? Why aren't they producing anything? They are. They are producing stuff. They just are not master workers, I suppose. No, they're grandmasters. They're just taking forever. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe next time we'll be building our swine herd. Maybe next time we'll be finishing up this expansion over here. And screwing up those 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 Vikings the next time they attack as well. Uh, because more than likely they will be back with a revengeance. I can only assume that maybe if there's mods for this thing, that at some point Vikings actually tame dragons and start attacking us from on top of dragons. That seems overpowered, but maybe on a hard mode difficulty. I'm thinking if I ever play this game again, um, I think I can actually... No, I can't. Okay. I can't actually change the difficulty of the game. Anyways, I don't want this episode going on too long. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!